Hello YouTube and hello world. Welcome back to InfoSec Patch Channel. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is installing and configuring ESXi 6.7. If you guys aren't aware of what 6.7 VMware is, it's a type 1 hypervisor, a bare metal install. You would install this on a server, on VMware workstation like we're going to be doing today. Um, that's pretty much what it is. It's a very awesome, probably the best hypervisor out there. VMware is massive. So without further ado, let's get started. It's going to be a fun little video. Hello guys, welcome back to my video. As I said when I was intro introducing the video, what we're going to be doing is installing and setting up ESXi 6.7 within um, uh, VMware Workstation. So let's get started. So for our network setup, we're going to be using the subnet of 192.168.200.x. But in our situation, we're going to use 210 as our last octet. And the network we're going to be using is VMNet2. And then we're going to get into that in a second. So again, um, VMware, Hyper, uh, VMware ESXi is a type 1 hypervisor that sits and installs on a physical server, in your data center, in your company. Um, and then when, once you have ESXi installed on your server, what you can do is log into that host and add VMs on top of that. So you have one big giant server as your hypervisor, and then you can install many, depending on your capacity, your resources that you have that resides in your computer or on your server. And it's an awesome thing. So you don't have to have 10 servers if you want to Active Directory server, DNS server, DHCP, SQL, Exchange, you know, Qualys, or maybe a Nested server for vulnerability assessments or whatever kind of uh, applications or business application that you guys use. You don't have to have 10 physical servers. You can have maybe one or two hosts that replicate, or in this case, we now only have one host and have a couple VMs that reside in there. So let's get started. Um, I don't want to go off on a, <laughs> on a tangent. I want to get configuring. So let's go. So let's go to our VMware. Um, this is going to be our lab. So let's go to home. We're going to do file. We're going to add a new virtual machine. OK, we're going to do custom install. Hit next. From the drop down from the hardware compatibility, we're going to drop this down and install ESXi 6.7 U2. OK, so let's go to next. Our, um, our ISO, this is my ISO that I'm using. And in order to get the ISO, you should go to your my.vmware.com and log in. You can download it. You can, it's a free download. You can register for free. Uh, it's very simple. Just go to, actually, I can show you guys really quick. Let's go to my.vmware.com. This is the URL. And you can just log in, search for it, or you can just go to Google, like Google's everyone's best friend. VMware download, ESX, and then you can go to um, download. Obviously, you see this is where I downloaded mine. And then this is the download right here. Okay? So right here, download, um, download VMware vSphere hypervisors ESXi 6.7. And I would download the first download here, the hypervisor ISO, including with VMware tools. OK, and that's what I got here. So let's get started. OK, so I'm going to name this 6.7 host one. OK, but I'm not putting it here. I'm going to actually put it in a special location where I like all my VMs to be. Um, so let's copy that. Let's paste that location. This is where I like to put my VMs. You can put them wherever you like. For my for my processors. So for me, I'm going to put four processors and one core. That's fine because this is just a test environment. And for mine, I'm going to put 16 gigabytes for my for my RAM because I have about 128 in here. So I have a quite a bit to spare. Okay. Let's hit next. We can just use NAT for now, because we're going to change that later. Uh, that's fine. Recommended is fine. 
create a new virtual disk is fine. I'll just create 60 gigs and I'll have this a single file. So it doesn't, so what split, um, split multi-disk, uh, split virtual disk into multi-files. So it's pretty much like, you know, while it grows, while you install files, it grows, but I just want to have the single 60 gig drive right from the beginning. Okay, so let's hit next here. And we're going to go, that's fine, that's the VMDK, and let's power this bad boy on. Okay, so I'm going to go down here, let's throw this in VMDK. So this is the install file, this is the install process, and let's just give this a few minutes to go through it. The install is fairly quick, it's not a very long installation by any means, it's probably about 5 to 10 minutes. Um, and then we can configure it, log into it, set it up, do all the things. So let's get started. Come on. All right, this and you should see this on your screen if you're following along. So hopefully everyone having a wonderful day today. It's a beautiful Thursday. It's Thanksgiving. So I'm thankful for you guys for watching this. I'm thankful to be alive today. So we should all be grateful for that, right? So let's... Um, Let's just be thankful for that. All right, so this is going to take a few minutes. Okay, so once this pops up, you're going to hit enter to continue. F11 to continue. This is going to scan the available drive. This should be the 60 gig drive that we just set up. Yep. So that's the 60 gig drive that we're going to be utilizing to install our VMs on. This is going to be our data store. It's local. Hit enter. US default is my um, keyboard, so that's fine for me. Next. And this is going to be the password for the root account. This is when you log into the ESXi host, F F11. And when you install it, and you log into it from the IP address, when we'll do that in a few minutes once this is done. In our case, it's going to be 192.168.200.210, and it's going to prompt us to log into the ESXi host. Once that prompts us to log in, we're going to put root and that password that we just set up. So that's a pretty critical password to save. When you put it down, when you write it down and type it, you should just write it down and definitely remember that. Okay? So... Okay, so now we're just going to remove the media. The way we remove the media is we're going to go right click on our VM if you're using VMware, um, CD ROM, DVD ROM, and disconnect. Okay, now that's disconnected. Let's hit enter, and the reboot process will start. So once this is done rebooting, we should get the information about the VM, and we're going to do a few things to modify the network settings, like in my case, let's go and check out the network settings that I created for this specific lab. So while that's booting, we can go into my network, vir virtual network editor, let that load up. And I created VM host two. Like I said in my video, I mean in my slide here, the network is VMnet two, and this is the subnet for that. And I can let I can show you that here. If I double click here, you can see 192.168.200.0. That is the network that we're going to be utilizing for this lab. And it's definitely reachable. Uh, if you're using VMware Workstation, uh, you can hit it. You should be able to hit it from your host. So we're going to get cracking and in installing that just in a moment. So let's wait for this to, to boot, and we should be on the way to go. Okay. All right, perfect. So it's giving a 192.168.119 address because it's this specific uh, VM right now is using NAT, Network Address Translation. So if we go here, we go to Settings. We're going to see this in a second that the network adapter is using its NAT. Okay, so we're going to add an adapter network adapter finish and if you guessed it what are we going to use for the second adapter we're going to use the custom virtual NIC 
2 because that's the NIC that we're going to utilize on the subnet of 192.168.200. Okay, so let's hit OK. That's going to restart the services and reboot, restoring, and doing all its magic behind the scenes. Okay, so now what we're going to do is F2 to customize. And we have to log in because you don't want anyone just going up to your host and tinkering with it, right? All right, perfect. So with this, now we're going to go ahead and configure network management. And then network adapters. And why don't we see the other adapter? Uh, that's weird. Let's go back here. Escape there. Escape here. Escape. We should see two adapters. Let me make sure nothing got funky. Yeah, it's there. Let's just, just take a minute. You know what? Let's just reboot this bad boy real quick. Just to make sure this changes take effect. Okay. Yeah, all right. That's fine. F11. We're just going to reboot it because what we should see is two network two network interfaces now. We should have the NATed one, which we're going to disable for now. And then we're going to, we should have VMNet 2, which is going to be on the network of 192.168.200.x, but we're going to assign 210 to the host. Okay, so let's give that a second. I'm not sure why it didn't populate, but it's technology. It has its mind of its own. So let's give it a second. Okay, so this is back. So now let's go ahead and hit F2. Let's go back into here. And let's check the settings now. So let's go ahead and configure network, network adapters. Now we see the two, perfect. So VMNet2, I mean, VM, yeah, VMNet2 is gonna be our VMNIC1. So we're gonna disable the NAT1 and enable this bad boy, okay? So hit okay here. We're going to configure IPv4 settings. We're going to use a static IP. And we're going to use 192, whoops, 192.168.200.210. 24-bit mask is fine. And we'll just change this to 200. OK. Enter. And we can change the DNS. to 200 just because you want to have it all in the same network and our host would be ESXi1 okay enter let's escape that to exit yes we want to apply these changes and give that a second and let's escape to log out because never have this logged in because you don't want someone tinkering with it like I said all right so now we have the, the address of 192.168.210.200.210, sorry. It's still early where I'm at. Okay, so let's just clear this. And what we're going to do is ping 192.168.200.210, and bada bing, bada boom, we're able to ping it. Okay, so now what we can do is we can open up and go to 192.168.200.210 and this you should get um, obviously we don't have a certificate installed so that's fine for now because this is a lab and this is the login okay so with this we can hit root because that's the username and this is the fancy password that we created during setup okay so we log in and voila doesn't this look pretty all right we don't have to do this now okay so Initially, when you install it and download it, you'll have a 60-day evaluation. When you download it, you should get a key to install with this product. I do have it, but I'm not going to install it right now. I just wanted to get you guys up and running on ESXi 6.7. Okay, so in this case, I'll show you how to do one thing before we go. So in our data store, it, the, at least the way I set up my ESXi hosts and, and environments, 
for all my ISOs, if I want Windows Server 2019, 2016, 2012, Linux operating, Red Hat, any kind of um, systems I want, I normally create an ISO folder in my data store and upload all my all my images into my data store. So when I install a VM, I can just browse to my data store and it's right there. So let's get to it and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so let's um, database browser. So let's create a new directory in here and we'll name it ISO. Okay, create it. Okay, so in here, we'll upload an image that I have, I think, in my downloads, uh, elementary. So for example, elementary OS is a Linux distro. We're gonna install that in a, pre, in, in a, in a next um, video. So this is pretty much how you would do it. And I'll upload one more. I'll upload 2019 or 16, whatever I hit first on my uh, Windows servers. Okay, so let's go ahead and that's fine. Let's do those two. So we had 2019 server and elementary OS. Okay, so let that do its thing and we'll upload those files. Once they're uploaded, they should come here. And then when we install the operating system, it'll be very easy to do that. And we'll get to that in the, in the next video. Okay, now it's complete. So that is pretty much the full process of uploading images, configuring ESXi on a VMware workstation environment. But this goes with if you have a physical server or if you have blade servers, however you guys want to install it, it's the same process. Just have that ISO, load it up, reboot your server, boot it up and install it. It's very straightforward. So I th hopefully this has uh, been helpful and please like, subscribe, show your friends and family these videos. If you have any requests, anything that you would like to see in the future, let me know. And I'm more than happy to get this done. I'm enjoying this journey because I don't get to do these every day. So to me, it's just fun, exciting. I learn as I go and I'm loving this journey. And I thank you guys for truly supporting me. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. And Today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to the world.